What's up? Welcome to another episode. In this episode, we will be, or episode or video, whatever you want to call it, we will be talking about how we made a complete, like, better version of this. Uh, when we were building this, this was many long hours put into it, very hard and very difficult. As you can see, none of the standoffs on each of the lifts are the same. Each time we thought we had the standoffs in the correct place, we would start routing the chain, and it the chain would hit. Uh, it was in also kind of hard to route the chain. Also, that was very difficult. Uh, the bearing blocks, as you can see, the bearing blocks are different. The first stage, it is the bearing block is on the front. The middle stage, bearing block is in the middle. And the last stage, or not the last, the third stage is on the, as you can see, last three holes. And this was because you had to have at least two holes between each bracket. As you can see here, you have two holes right there, and then bracket, two holes, bracket. Uh, this would, th uh, this was so the chain wouldn't collide with the other chain, or, yeah, I, I'm sorry, but yeah, they wouldn't collide, because if they did, that would lead to serious problems, and wouldn't be good. This lift also cannot go over four stages, it's just not too narrow. As you can see over right here, this is like a little picture, kind of, of what the lift is. It's pretty much that, except the brackets are lined up much different. You have a sprocket and you have two standoffs right under it. Two more standoffs over here. And the sprocket, sprocket, two standoffs. And it goes on and on, and you can do as many stages as you want like that. And then we have the actual thing. Uh, as I said before, it, it took many long hours to do this, and about 30, an hour, uh, an hour to 30 minutes to build one of these. So, they slide together good, as you saw, you may not have seen it earlier, but, hold up, sorry. It stops where it needs to stop. And it's pretty much a better version of the very complicated robot over there. Or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so sliders, we use 0.25 or a quarter of an inch spacers and regular screw and a nylock. We used... What, uh, 0.35 spacers and for the sprocket that would be attached the first stage this is the first stage as you can see it is used lock the little lock inserts not the green ones since it would be attached to the motor and it uses three washers the bottom it uses the green ones the uh, three three point point uh, Three, oh, sorry, point three seventy five spacers again, three washers, and the green inserts. This is kind of what it looks like. We only use nylocks, and as you can see, the uh, uh, let me get a pointer. The bracket and standoffs are right in line with each other, as I so showed. Uh, back there on the whiteboard. This makes it so much easier to route the chain and it works. It, you don't have to move it. We tried it before. We're not gonna, sorry, we're not gonna show you how it looks with the chain on it. But all the spacers are 0.25 except for the ones on the sprockets. To connect the two buys, yes, it, um, we use two buys. To get them, we had some screws on the fifth hole on each end on both sides using nylock. As I, um, yeah, I don't know if I said this earlier, but we only use nylock. Um, let me show you it a little more. Uh, 
Uh, basically, if you know how to build one of these, and I hope we give you a good demonstration of what it looks like, so you, if you want to copy this, you can. Uh, you can build stages on and on and on and on, like 10 stages, and then your last like little stage that holds a clamp or whatever you want it to have. Uh, and I think that's going to be all. Have a good night or day, and we'll see you next video or episode.